My name is Felicia Follum. I'm an artist, art teacher, and I do a lot with culture and arts and people. Uh <laughs> In another video, I said that I would link to another video about some of my specific art teaching gigs and teaching gigs that I've done and jobs that I've had. So this video, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to talk to you about those things a little bit. I would like to make it a quick video so it might feel like a list. If you want more information about any of these jobs or adventures or art teaching things, English teaching things, other teaching things, uh, let me know below and I will either do a video on it or uh, write, type it up below, maybe both. But yeah, I don't want to talk too much about each one because it could take a very long time. So I'm gonna get started. If you like art videos, uh, be sure to subscribe for more. I do studio tours where I show you around my messy studio and just show you what's going on. I show you, I work on the floor a lot, so I show you the floor, um, all those things. But uh, do be sure to subscribe for that. So I'll start with what I'm currently doing and then kind of work my way back. Like, uh, as I'll go through my resume uh, and talk about some of those things. So it'll be in that order as much as possible. <laughs> so right now I'm teaching private art lessons with a few different clients. Also one of my art, my private lessons, the boy is studying uh, Diwali in one of his classes and he wants to start learning Hindi. So I'm gonna do, uh, start incorporating Hindi, just words and simple phrases into our art lessons. So that's a lot of fun with doing private art lessons you can kind of work with the clients you want to work on. I'm not desperate for the money, so I'm more picky and choosy about who I work with than um, I, you, in some places you need to be, you need to work with everyone who wants you to work with them, um, but I'm not there right now. So I, I primarily work with clients who really need the art. Um, like this boy, he, his, his family is so like, they're uh, part of the Montessori school, and so they let, um, it's very free and open and, ex open and explorative, and that's why I didn't layer me to, like, where it's just, explore the arts, and that's my favorite to do. It's my favorite lessons to do. I'm also working with a girl who has um, disabilities, and she's younger, but, um, like, the art lessons are so meaningful to her family, um, where her mom, like, oh, man, every time I'm there, I'm just like, it was so powerful because the family's like she just need the girl the daughter and the mother both just like the lessons are in a lot of ways like very very special to them so that's I love working with the clients I work with I absolutely love it um I've also taught private lessons for adults um it's I've done a couple art parties as well where I just do an art class for a group of women um doesn't have to be women but it almost always is women I also teach occasional art classes I'm teaching uh there's there's one that we've done annually that's a tea party where I teach a painting about tea or a teacup or something like that, and then we go and have a tea party. Um, I'm also teaching English to refugees through a place called World Relief. I'm hoping to teach an art class there in the future. It hasn't been set up yet, but it's uh, kind of like a therapeutic art where we talk about sharing your story. I'll talk about another place where I did sharing your stories for a few art lessons as well. So I taught English for new arrivals for Syrian refugees. I'll link to a video about that in the comments below. Um, so I talked a little bit more about that in the past. Um, I've taught at a place called The Wet Palette where she does wine um, wine and draw parties. I don't do a lot for her. Um, working as a private um, soul, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word right now. And so I love teaching there as well. It's uh, been harder to schedule things. But one of the best ways to actually make money is teaching for places that really support the arts and respect artists. I also teach an adult watercolor class at Allied Arts. I'm po it's over that way, like three blocks that way, so I'm pointing. Uh, but I teach adult watercolors there. I teach a summer class for children there. That's where the tea party is. I've also, I think that's all I've taught there. I've also modeled for life drawing. I don't teach the life drawing, but I've been, I've worked there as a life drawing model. I do clothes in my own art community always. Artists really like drawing my dreadlocks. Actually, I know a couple of you guys will pause videos and draw my dreadlocks, so Here's a pose for you, Uncle Raggy. Go check out his channel if you like ukulele or string instruments too. Um, Raggy Ragsdale, super cool. Um, but yeah, he's he's done like he sketched my hair before, so that's funny. Um, totally cool. <laughs> I'm so random. This is not quick. I'm so sorry. The summer class I teach at Allied is cultural art from around the world. I have a video about that class as well. I did impromptu art lessons at the Halal store where I would. This was volunteer. Uh, so I was teaching refugees, but the art refugee class wouldn't be volunteer. Um, but yeah, I teach art lessons at one of the halal stores. Uh, one of the people that worked there and I just started um, practicing English and studying for his uh, GED. And then it eventually became where it's like whoever was in the store, we would do English together. And so that was a lot of fun. We met a lot of really cool people that way and got to know them really well. So that's where 
I met a lot of my friends that, uh, a lot of my Muslim friends over there is just through practicing English and getting to know people. I had an artist residency in Brazil where I, the first month I taught English, the second month I taught art. One was through Partners of the Americas and the other was through US Brazil Connect. You should look them up if you're interested in doing anything in Brazil or South and Central America. Or if you are from South or Central America, you should look it up if you want to come to the US. I taught at the Afro-Caribbean Heritage Camp. This is where I taught the telling your story. The theme of the week was stories. And it's a camp that meets in Denver, Colorado, and they do, uh, I hope to teach again there. I haven't been able to like work it out because it's, we live so much farther away and I was able to just drive there in a couple hours. Now it's like an hours away. It's a camp for Afro-Caribbean children who have been adopted by white parents and it helps uh, the parents and the children to, I don't know if assimilate is the right word, but it helps the parents and the children to um, work through some of the struggles specific to dark-skinned children and white parents. And that's, I grew up with two white parents, so it was really, really special for me to be able to work with those kids uh, who also have white parents. So it's really, really neat. I was a teacher at the Cooper Center for Creative Arts. I think I have videos on that. I will link to them if I do. Uh, that was a center for, um, if you guys have heard of the ARC, there's um, lots of different ARC organizations. It was a similar one, um, also named the ARC, but ARK instead of ARC. And they had a program that was day hab for adults with disabilities, and it was an art center. So we had drama, music, theater. I said that drama, music. We had drama, music, dance, language arts, painting, um, sculpture, all sorts of two D and three D arts. After school programs for children. We also did. Um, there was an agriculture, a, a horticulture program, and a horse program that I sometimes I, I didn't work for the horse one. I sometimes would work for the horticulture program where we would go plant things. I loved it. Um, super great place. If you're in Laramie, Wyoming or in Wyoming, check out the Cooper Center for Creative Arts. In Rapid City, there's South Dakota, there's also the Suzy Kappa Art Center. So those are two places that I'm sure they would love volunteers. And so go check those places out and get, get some experience doing that. Social media, oh, I did social media marketing classes way back when, when uh, Facebook, I, I taught, primarily older artists how to use Facebook and blog and those types of things. I am no longer, uh, I'm kind of in the middle, like average skill level, I think, but there was a while where with graphic design, I was uh, doing a lot of that. I was the arts van teacher for Allied Arts in Yakima for a summer. My husband and I had internships in Washington and we lived here for a summer before we moved here, two summers before we moved here. The first one was, uh, uh, it's not on this list. The first one I designed family sticker decals. So if you go Google family stickers, I did 900 and some different family sticker designs of stick people. So if you tell me you can't draw a stick person, I'm going to say draw 900 of them and then you will be able to draw a stick person. Practice, practice. Art is learned. It's practice. You can do it. I promise. Um, and then I, in Haiti, I saw paper bead making and, uh, bracelets to the women and children. We were all working there and, uh, like our jobs. I, I just taken the stuff and I was like, maybe one day I'll be able to do it. But I ended up doing it, teaching the kids and the women for like the whole time we were there was all I did, which was amazing. So now whenever I go somewhere, I take a uh, string for bracelets and I take their nail polish or like paper bead stuff or something like that to just interact with the women and children in those countries. Cathedral Home for Children was my first job where I really was able to use art to work with people and then I eventually did private lessons there but that was a residential treatment facility for teens and I was specifically on a deaf cottage so we, d we would lead groups so we could lead something about um like hygiene or uh pregnancy or like anything that women young women need to know as they transition into adults so it was really good I think that is what I have on my list for teaching jobs and gigs. I, it took longer than I hoped. But yeah, if you have questions about any of these things or you would like to hear a video or hear me talk about one of these topics, let me know below and um, share what you have done as artists or creative people or how you have either, either how you have made money or used your skills to change the world and help people, work with people. So let me know in the comments below. Comment on each other's comments. Share your guys' thoughts and ideas with each other too. I think there's a lot of you guys that can share a lot with each other as well. So I would love to see you do that. Thanks guys.